that side. So we are in Sacramento now. Check it out with Troy. We just finished hey, our two, two mastermind session today. So how was it, Troy, with top agents here in Sacramento? It how was, was great. it? great. No, the, the agents here are pretty excited and uh, you provided a lot of good information. Um, it's always surprising to see how many agents aren't running their business. That's what, well, yeah, yeah, that's great. So what do you think is the biggest? Uh, so we did two mastermind, uh, one of the team, uh, they did about 130 transaction. And then the other one just now, uh, she used to be the manager, right? Who run the production and stuff. Yeah. So what, what do you think is the biggest challenge for real estate agents here in, in the capital? You know, it's, it's lead generation. That's what I heard a lot today is, you know, how do we get generate leads? How do I start building uh, the database? Because you've done such a great job of building a big database that you, you know, get so many buyers for all your listings. Building. Yeah, so we are talking about this morning, we are talking about building a list, uh, building a database of buyers. Uh, 52,000 buyers in our database. Yeah. So that way, uh, I guess we have to walk because there's a TV. Unless you and I will be on TV oh. tonight. Yeah, we will <laughs> be on a, TV. Look, check it out behind you. Yeah, <laughs> so we talk about building a database of 52,000 buyers in our database. So right now here, we are looking for a couple of ambitious real estate agents in Sacramento area to build your own team. So here at your home soul guaranteed realty, my job is to help you to grow and develop your own team and when we talk about team i'm talking about each specific individual has a specific role in that transaction so that way the real estate agents we are positioning in such a way that the real estate agents literally just show up just show up in appointments and troy can you share from your perspective as far as the mortgage element the mortgage uh, so when the real estate agents uh, the way we set it up our team is that we book an appointment for the agents so the agents show up in a face-to-face -face appointments we have our app that the buyers uh, through your system there the buyers upload all their information go straight to the underwriters get full loan underwriters approval within two hours from the time we have completed documents right. yeah so one of the things we were discussing with one of the offices today is like the biggest in the area um, when you told them that you write your offers with no loan contingencies I think you gave him a heart attack he's like what do you mean no loan contingencies and it's because with using our system you're actually getting a fully underwritten your borrowers are fully underwritten and approved so you can confidently write an offer with no loan contingencies which gives you the ability to compete with cash offers um, and one of the agents said he wrote an offer yesterday with nine he was number nine, nine multiple offers, number nine yes. and he had a loan contingency it's not good yeah, it's like how are you different than anybody else? The, yeah, the other eight. So you got to be able to compete against cash borrowers and be able to close quickly. Um, you know, it's more attractive to the sellers. So Troy here has a website that all we do at, at your home sold guaranteed realty, all we do basically, we just upload every information on that website, on that app, and, with, and then that goes straight to the underwriters. Right. Can you share typically how does it work in the loan? Because typically there's these loan officers and there's a processor and then there's the underwriters like can you educate us a little bit like how this loan process actually works? Yeah, so what we've always done is we've always gone to real estate offices and said, hey Rudy, do you have any new buyers I can work? And you give us a name and a number and then we follow up and we try and set Let's appointments and we try and collect documents. Um, but what do we really you know, do? It takes time. Now what we do, and then we take it back to the office, we give it to our processor, she's already working on a lot of files, and then we ask her for a quick pre-approval, and then now if you ask for a pre-approval um, without a property address, they go, we're too busy, our underwriters are too busy, we've got refinances, we don't have time to, to underwrite that file. So what we're doing is using our software, we're collecting income, assets, pulling credit, and getting it right to the underwriter, so we're taking out all those middle people, because your client's coming directly to us, and we're approving it, so you can write those offers faster. So we take out a lot of the middleman and a lot of the uh, wasted time to get us to yep. approve. So when we talk about team, it's multiple elements, right? Number one, we are teaching real estate agents when they join your home sold guaranteed realty, either they build their own team or they join an existing team as a team members. As a team members, all we do, we just book them a face-to-face -face buyer and listing appointments, that's it. And then we have this app that Troy is talking about Imagine within two hours from the time you upload a fully completed package on that website, then we get full loan underwriter's approval. That means we submit an offer with no loan contingencies. Now for the team leaders, uh, people who wants to build a team, all we do, we are creating a system where each individual person in that team can uh, just do one thing. So the marketing team, for example, today, we are talking about our marketing team every month. We generate about 
2,000 buyers calling in every single month thinking of buying and selling a home. And then our inside sales team call in, checking the timing and motivation, see if they're ready to make a move in the next three to six months. Once we determine they're ready to make a move, we book it to our outside sales team, just show up and then deliver our message. So uh, we have a standardized VIP buyers and VIP sellers benefits and that's it so we so we recreating the job of a real estate agents so at your home sold guaranteed realty we are talking about market expansion here in sacramento so we are looking for ambitious real estate agents who want to grow and develop your own team here in sacramento and why do we like sacramento the, the price point was amazing up here in sacramento a lot of good um volume we were surprised at the uh, prices. We remember we were talking about some, uh, you got a lot of investors oh, yeah. that are in uh, 52,000. You have a lot of investors that they could buy a single family residence up here. A lot of young professionals looking to rent. They could 000. buy homes for like 300 to 350 and be positive cash flow with 20% down. Yeah, just now, that this morning. We talked about, yeah. Right, this morning we talked about the duplex, right? The, the uh, that, half a duplex? That half a duplex was $220,000. $200,000. And how much and the with, payments? It was with principal, interest, tax, insurance, we had estimated it was going to be right about $1,200. And that's and 20% rents, down. Yeah, 20% down, and it was uh, rented for 1600 a month. They said they get, a, they get minimum 1600 Yeah, so there's a lot of opportunities here in Sacramento, and really there is no real team here, no. right? Today, the two meetings, supposedly we meet with the top, top, top here in, in the area, but it's pretty much uh, the biggest team in the area sold about 150 homes. And so we wanna help more agents as the market change. Uh, where do you see as the market heading? Because you've been in business for a long time, right, Troy? Can you share your background a little bit? And where do you see the future of real estate here? And why we call it the real estate office of the future? Yeah, I know. So I've been, uh Licensed since 1989, doing mortgages, had my own mortgage and real estate companies this entire time I've been in the industry. Um, but what I think is really going to change, you talked about it in one of your meetings, was the lawsuit against real estate. A lot of big changes are coming. And I think five to seven years from now, that all these realtors and loan officers, they're going to be just a fall, uh, small, small percentage is going to be left in business. And the best that are really the future, it's what we talk about, the future of real estate, is because you're running small teams, controlling the mortgage, controlling the transaction, and keeping them in your ecosystem for life, right? You're always talking yep. about the lifetime. We're talking about the lifetime value of a clients. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're trying to get that lifetime value. We're trying to be part of that because uh, unless you get involved and start doing you know, more volume with a good team, you're going to be out of business in a few years. That's, that's what I think is going to happen in the next five to seven years. Yeah, so who do you know in Sacramento here who wants to join the movement, uh, building the real estate office of the future, building a real team uh, where each specific individual has a specific role in the transaction and the agent just focus on one thing. So there is no more prospecting, no more cold calling, no more, no more door knocking. That's how you compete against all this technology, uh, the eye buyers and stuff. Like just now we talk about embracing the eye buyers. How? We are talking about doing something that the machine cannot do because if what you do, if, what you, if the machine can do what you do, then you will be replaced, right? So that's that's essentially what we talk about. Here we are at the Capitol. This is my first time here at the, where are we now? We're in front of the, front of the Capitol. This is Capitol it. Capitol building. Capitol building, man. The Downtown Sacramento. California. <laughs> Do you realize most people in California have never been to the Capitol? How many times have you been to the Capitol? <laughs> this is my first time. <laughs> there you have it, there's an example. Hey, there's a live video, there's a live uh, TV. Yeah, the news feed. Re news feed that are going on. All right, anything else? Uh, I think we should get back, huh? What time is our flight? Uh, we fly back about 8 o'clock today. Let's check it out. Let's just walk around here. What's okay. going on around here? That's Fox News behind there. Right? It is. So who do we know? So when we talk about... So today, uh, we are attending this top two, uh, two mastermind with all these agents. And mainly, we just share about uh, there is a better way. Imagine. Do you remember just now? What do you think when I asked this question just now? Imagine if the customer know the truth about real estate agents. Oh, <laughs> now, yeah, now that the um, the Pacific Northwest, those multiple listing services are now disclosing the commissions. Um, and a lot of the buyers go, well, wait, I found the house and you're just gonna get paid for it? But how's that fair to me? You know, yeah. what, what, what do I get, right? They all wanna know what's in it for me. It's not the client's job, it's not the buyer's job for you real estate agents to get paid. Yeah. So you, as a real estate agent, you have to be, you have to have the skill uh, here at your home sold guaranteed realty. We teach real estate agents to every day show homes that match the criteria that they cannot see online. 
because if all you do as a real estate agent you are just emailing them homes homes that they can see online on Zillow and Redfin and all these online website then what value are you bringing to that transaction exactly you're not right if you're not bringing value to that transaction then the technology is gonna is gonna the technology is gonna what yeah. like el replace eliminate you. Yeah. yeah replace you right so and then what else we talk about today we talk about bringing value to the clients. Oh, we also talk about when the owner of the house hire you to sell your homes. Yeah. How to create multiple offer, instant cash offer, multiple offer within 60 minutes. Yeah. No, that was great. Yeah, you, you get that? Yeah, uh, no, that was really instead great. of doing a traditional open house where the real estate agents, oh, this is a nice spot here. Maybe we stick here. We stand here maybe. So instead of doing a traditional open house where the real estate agents uh, passively waiting for the buyers to come in, Right. So the way we share, we call it the untraditional open house, yeah. where in a short period of time we bring in 30, 50 multiple offers. What's better than I buyers? What is I buyers anyway? I buyers is an instant cash offer within one yeah. day. Exactly. Right? So what's what's better than one cash buyer? Multiple. Multiple cash Multiple buyers. Multiple cash buyers. It's not that complicated. So you need to have a really good CRM system that you that you organize your buyers database. So in a very short period of time you generate multiple offers. Because if all you do, if the owner of the house hire you to sell your home and all you do put a for sale sign and hoping the buyers to come in, then of course the owner is not going to hire you because like they can do it themselves. Yeah. All right. What else we talk about? So we talk about having access to buyers, not online, multiple offers in 60 days. We talk, you covered a lot, Rudy. It was a lot, a lot of meetings you had. Yeah. There's Good a lot of back to back. We didn't have no. lunch. Exactly. Yeah. But there was a lot of conversations, like I said, a lot of time about lead generation. A lot of these, you know, teams are just going, how do how do we start? How do we start doing leads? And I'm always surprised that no one really has a, a good CRM they're using. Um, they're not tracking it. Well, I, I make phone calls. Well, but how do you follow up? How do you know when to call them back? The um, crazy one was uh, many of these teams, they are team members, they are doing prospecting, right? So if you join a team and you are still cold calling, prospecting, door knocking, then what's the value, like what's the point? Like why are you part of a team if you are still prospecting, cold calling, door knocking? Like why don't you just be independent? I don't get it. Yeah. Do you no. get it? Like do you understand? Like, no, you get I, it? I think there's a lot of value being in a team, but I think everyone has to have their specific role. Uh, and that's the same way how we do the mortgages. Everyone has a task. You know, you can't just do it all from start to finish and expect to do any sort of volume or scale your business. So I think that's what's so great about, you know, your system, you know, the Real Estate Office of the Future is you're really helping people just do what they want to do. They want to meet with, you know, buyers or sellers. They want to give them, you know, the presentation and help them buy or sell their home. You know, what do buyers want? We just say all day long, what do the buyers want? They want a home. Yeah. They don't care who you the like agent that? is. Yeah, I like that a lot. But they want simple. a home. Buyers want homes. <laughs> give them a home. So that's what I think is great. Homes. It's not just any homes though. Homes that exclusive. Yes. Homes that special. Homes that they cannot see it anywhere else. Because if now, if you position yourself as the exclusive, something that's different and exclusive, meaning you cannot get it anywhere else and only you can do it, then now you're adding value on the transaction. So now exactly. you will never be afraid of all this change. Technology is good. You know, but if you're just an order taker, then of course there's technology, then you should be afraid. Yeah, because technology be technology will replace you. Yes. So it depends. Yes. Right? And you do a lot of, uh, tomorrow you'll be in Vegas too, right? There's yeah. a lot of disruption. Can you share also what's going on at the mortgage industry? Well, so in the mortgage industry, what a lot of, you know, uh, real estate owners, brokers don't realize is when they work with some of these other companies right now for mortgages and they send those mortgages off to, you know, be sold. I think you, everyone knows. Well, I did my mortgage with XYZ, but now I make payments to this company. Wait, now two months later, I make payments to this company. Well, what's happening is in the secondary market, that loan's been sold. If a big bank gets a hold of it that now owns a real estate company, well, I won't say any names, but let's just say there's a lot of them. Real estate agents are gonna lose control of that client that you wanna keep forever for life. They end up in one of these ecosystems over here. You've lost a client. So you didn't even know where your loan's gonna end up. You need to ask that. What, where's my loan gonna go? So what you're asking was there's a movement. Um, their, their conference is in a couple weeks in Vegas, not the one I'm doing tomorrow. And uh, the Association for Independent Mortgage Experts. And what they found out was a lot of these big banks were taking their clients that they had sent there and were churning them, which means refinancing them within their own ecosystem. And they wanted to buy a new house. They said, hey, no problem. We have a referral agent over here that we'll send you to. So the real estate agent who generated the lead initially and gave it to the lender, they're both out of business. It they just both lost that client yep. for life. <laughs> yeah. So it's important that you know where your loans go. 
and that ecosystem that you're putting it into, and which is why Rudy is the office of the future because he's controlling all that. He knows where the mortgage payments are going to be going. Yeah, which is, that's the future of real estate yes. where it's a data. I think the yeah, yeah it's the data. It's, it's who control the data, the data. Yeah. right? So that's what basically your story talking about. So that's it, right? Are you gonna? Are we heading back or? Yeah, I think we will have to get some dinner. Eventually. What time is it? Five o'clock. So it's five o'clock now. So probably we're gonna get dinner first, right? We're gonna get dinner. Yeah, get some dinner. And then, and then we're gonna be at the airport at seven because my flight is at eight. What time is your flight? Eight. Eight. We're so we we're both at five minutes of each other. Yeah. So my flight is at eight. So we back. So this morning, my flight here is at seven o'clock. Meeting. Flight fifty. It be, yeah, fifty. Yeah. Seven o'clock. I, I woke up at four this morning, and uh, meeting with couple of good, good, uh, good contacts here. And you got couple of good yeah, contacts some great too. Contacts, yeah. Yeah. And then Some and tonight we are flying back. Business. That's it, man. It's one day in and out. Uh, we talk about time is your enemy, right? So you want something done, you just get it done one day. Like you don't need, like this morning fly in, this evening fly out. Tomorrow yeah. eight o'clock back in the office. Yeah. And now tomorrow back to the airport to Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, he'll be in Las Vegas tomorrow for a mortgage conference See you for the National Association of Mortgage Brokers. And then I'll be in the office today. We talk about having access to exclusive listings. So a lot of fun stuff. If you've never been to our office, uh, I'm inviting you for a private backstage tour of the real estate office of the future. All you need to do call six two six seven eight nine zero one five nine. Again, six two six seven eight nine zero one five nine. So we can give you a private backstage tour. If you know any good real estate agents here in Sacramento area who wants to be and grow their own real estate sales team call me uh, 626-789-0159 so we can help you to grow and develop your own team here in Sacramento we are looking for a couple of good leaders to uh, to help with the expansion here in Sacramento right uh, it's a, I think it's a good market here three four hundred thousand and there is no real dominant players here in Sacramento check it out ABC you wanna be on ABC news <laughs> let's get on the news that's the ABC News. <laughs>